What's going on, you two? My name's Legendarily, and today I give a shout out to Graham Barnhart. Oh, oh, I'm unbeatable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be opening 10 different Pokemon booster packs. We have some really great selections here today, so uh, you're not going to want to miss the video. But before we get into that, I just wanted to give a quick shout out, like I said before, to Graham Barnhart. Uh, a young fan whose uh, dad reached out to me on Twitter the other day and um, just said how much he enjoyed uh, him and his son watching my videos and I thought that was really cool so I was like you know what I'll give him a little surprise and maybe give him a shout out here on the channel so if you can uh, give a, a what's up Graham or a state legendary Graham something down in the comments below I'm sure you would uh, really enjoy that but with that being said make sure you subscribe down below like I've continued to say before 88% of you are not subscribed but uh, let's go ahead and get into today's opening. And uh, first up, we're going to start with a Shining Legends pack. And like I said, we have 10 packs today and 10 different sets. I always love to mix it up a little bit. So, um, yeah. Hopefully we can uh, get something cool from some of these uh, more expensive sets like uh, Shining Legends and Dragon Majesty and stuff like that. Here we go. Our first pack is Shining Legends. We got a Liabard, Volcarona, Pokemon Catcher, Pikachu, Weasel. Totodile, Sorcat, Plusle, a Reverse Arbok, and ooh, a Shining Arceus. Let's go. What a way to start the video. What a way to start the video. That's that Graham luck right there, man. I saw you, Graham. I saw you. Get me that luck for the Shining Arceus. <laughs> Alright, next up we have Dragon Majesty. We got a Charizard on the front of this one. And all these are just random packs I've had in my collection that I've, I've found throughout the years. Um, so they are pretty much paid retail for all these these packs. So I know they're they're worth a little bit more now these days, but um, I paid you know traditional standard four to five dollars for, for each of these. All right, so we got a fairy energy. Ooh, that's a little throwback there. We don't have that anymore in Sword and Shield era, but here we are. Oh, some of these these are a little bit older. 2018. I thought it was a little bit older than that, actually. Uh, Darumaka, Feebas, Hakamao, Wishy Washy. Ooh, look at that. Speaking of fairy energy, we got ourselves a reverse hollow fairy energy and a Feraligator hollow. Y'all know I love me some Feraligator. That's, in fact, my favorite Pokemon. I do already have this one in my binder, but um, I would love to get a uh, Alligator V, or you know, some kind of alternate art for alligator these days, because it's. I think this is maybe the last time we had a for alligator in a set. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. All the way back in Dragon Majesty, back in 2018. Absolutely crazy. All right, Burning Shadows up next. You all know what we'll be looking for in this one the Rainbow Rare Zard. Very, very rare and sought after card. Um. Averages about one in 1,000 packs is how often you can expect to find that one. Wait, this is, uh, okay, there it is four. All right, we'll guess, uh, fire this time. All right, all right, darkness, okay. We got Potam, Ribombi, Curlia, Tangela, Routes, Rhyhorn, Hoot Hoot, Little Crocheted Meryl, Lunatone, and a Hollow Rare Vile Plume. So not too bad, not too bad. All right, next up, another hard hitter. We got Evolutions with the Venusaur on the front. Everybody loves Evolutions these days, even though you used to cannot even give this set away about two years ago. It was it was just so oversaturated and everything. People did not care about Evolutions because they printed it to the ground. All right, first up, we got ourselves a Pokedex, Porygon, Pidgeot, Spirit Link, Rattata, Vulpix, Electabuzz, Magikarp, a Ghastly, a Reverse Hollow, Hitman, hit, Hitman, Hitmonchan, and the rare. Oh, a Charizard EX. You gotta love it. Let me, I'm recording. Right? Yeah, okay, I'm making sure everything's recording. It's been, I've had some issues lately where I've just like forgot to turn my mic on or something, and I just don't want that to happen. You know. Nice. We got ourselves. One of the Charizard cards. I pulled this one actually quite a few times. I don't think it's terribly rare, but it's still nice to pull a Charizard card. This one actually looks really good. I think could pull a PSA 10. I might send that one off for grading. We'll see. We will see once PSA opens up back in July. I, uh, as of this recording, it's June 1st when I'm recording this. I think I'm also posting the same day. Um, 
It has been now 10 months since I sent my first submission off the PSA that I sent on July the 31st. So, love that, that it's been 10 months since I've seen uh, cards. This is Unified Minds, by the way. But, uh, you know, nothing I can do about it except just sit back and wait, you know? Just sit back and wait. Oh, gosh, I just about showed all the cards. Oh, it's in there backwards. Well, we're not going to get anything too crazy from Unified Minds. We already saw we had the green code in that one. But we can still guess that energy. Let's go ahead and guess the water. Darkness again. All right. Sableye. Swadloon. Flying EMZ. I didn't really care for Z moves. That was, that was just a weird gimmick that I didn't, I didn't care for, to be honest. I really like, don't like the gimmicky stuff Pokemon does. Like, the, the best gimmick type deal this stuff they've done is Mega Evolutions, just because you got all new different looking Pokemon. But uh, other than that, like the Gigantamax stuff, like, I don't really... I know they gotta do something to keep it fresh, but I don't really care for that kind of stuff. But uh, Mega Evolutions were really cool back in X and Y. Alright, this one was... I didn't even look. This is Vivid Voltage. Okay. You know, we're looking for that Rainbow Rare Pikachu. Right, we're gonna guess Darkness again. Oh! Look at that! Third time in a row was darkness. Good thing we guessed darkness. All right, we got a Kakuna, Sinamo, Kalabapus, Wubat, Tailo, Charmander, a Tailo again, and a Garlarian, Darmanitan VMAX. I actually pulled this one before. Nice. Look at that. Okay. Let's head it to the side over here next to the Charizard and Shining RCS. We have pretty good opening so far. Four packs left, guys. This one up, the most recent set, Battle Styles. I know this Friday, I think this Friday is the pre-release for Chilling Rain. I'm going to try to get my hands on some pre-release kits or boxes, but my local game store has not even, like, put them out. They've already got booster box pre-orders up, but they don't have anything up for the uh, pre-release boxes. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get my hands on a couple of them to open them this Friday, but I don't I don't know. We'll just I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But um, here we go. We've got a Mankey. Horsey, Hone Edge, Shimeko, Pachirisu, Gobat, and a Cricketune V. <laughs> you know, we're actually getting a lot of pulls. Um, a lot of pulls, even though I have actually pulled this one as well. I have pulled the Cricketune V. Actually, it has some code cards over here from some of the blister things that I opened um, to get these packs. There's one, and there's uh, there's another one. All right, three backs left. Darkness of Blades is our next pack. Also haven't pulled the Charizard from this set either. So I would definitely welcome that in today's Pokemon card opening. One, two, three, and four to the front. We're going to guess a Fire Energy. Ah, close. Close. Corvus Squire. Hiding Energy. Okay, that's new. Fletchner. I really like this artwork, even though uh, Fletchner looks like he's causing a Forest Fire. That's that's not good. Not good. Torchic. Trapinch. Jigglypuff. Ducklet. Carablast. A Spooky cup of tea and Arctivish the dumb fossils from gen 8 I'm sorry but I just can't get behind the new fossil Pokemon I don't like them at all all right today's triple P is real special it's one of my favorite sets of all time it is cosmic eclipse even though cosmic eclipse has done me pretty dirty recently I still love the set quite a lot so hopefully we can get a little bit of redemption here and pull something cool like a character rare or something like that. So we got a four to the front here. Let's guess uh, water. Okay. Psychic. A Cynthia and Caitlin. You know, I don't really care for reprints that much, but I hope Cosmic Eclipse gets a reprint because uh, I wasn't able to get to, I was unable to get a booster box before they really skyrocketed in price. And dang, nothing. Um, so I really am not wanting to pay $500 for a booster box of Cosmic Eclipse. <laughs> So if they did a reprint, that might uh, bring that cost down a little bit. Because I really want a sealed box of Cosmic Eclipse. Right now I have about 20 sealed blisters and a couple uh, repack blisters of Cosmic Eclipse. But that's about it. So I really want, you know, the booster box. Alright, last pack, guys. Ultra Prism. The Lily card is what we are looking for in this one. Four to the front on this one as well. We're going to go with a metal. Darkness again. Alright. A lot of darkness energy in this one. We got a Pearl Ugly. Unit Energy, Dupider, Hiplop, Skorupi, Stunky, Young Goose, a Hollow Reverse Rare. 
Infernate. Nice, nice. And the final card is a Hippowden. Nothing on that one. But we did get four pulls. And actually, I think two really good pulls. And uh, this Charizard here. The Charizard EX. And, of course, the Shining Arceus. Everybody loves a Shining Pokemon. Really cool. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. Like I said, make sure you're subscribed. Leave a like rating if you did enjoy it. And until next time, stay legendary.